Aloha, this is Heidi at ECPZ. In this video, I'm going to show you my son's updated cloth diaper stash now that he's a one-year-old toddler. He's currently 13 months old. The last time I showed you guys pretty much our entire cloth diaper stash is in my video where I was packing cloth diapers for airplane travel. So you can refer back to that one if you want to see what we were using previously. We left for long-term travels when my son was seven months old and I tried to pack as many diapers as I could that would last him However, I do use size diapers and he outgrew a lot of items. At one point, all of a sudden, he had either outgrown his wool wrap covers or the snaps had popped off some of his covers. We were pretty much left with no covers that were working. We needed to totally change up our cloth diaper stash. Some of the things he outgrew included our poopy one size wool covers. So even though these are one size and they do have rise adjustment snaps, they come in newborn, mini one size, one size, and a one size plus. And when he was around eight months old, he really could have done better with the one size plus instead of this one size version. I had also sewn snap-in inserts to use with the snap-in one version. However, I just did not make those absorbent enough. I thought since we practice elimination communication and he sometimes uses the potty, that he wouldn't need a ton of absorbency but I was wrong. So we stopped using the poopy one size covers and we stopped using the 10 snap-in inserts I had brought with us. We also brought along five fixed flat cloth diapers by The Blythe Life. I love the style of diapers, but these regular wetter ones are nowhere nearly absorbent enough for him anymore. When I first got fixed flats, I thought, wow, these are super absorbent. We don't need the two layer heavy wetter version. We're fine with just the single layer insert. Well, he was four months old back then. Now that he's 13 months old, this is just not cutting it. I also like a diaper that has a higher rise since sometimes instead of using a snappy and cover, I just use a diaper belt to hold on the diaper. So it was time to size up on the fixed flats. I also brought along 12 of these Noble Bebe underwear in the size 18 months. These are just two layers, but then you're able to stuff extra absorbency inside them, and I had been using them with a wipe inside there. I really liked these for daytime. They were super cute, paired with little leg warmers. So anytime I was paying close attention, I could see right away when they're wet and change them out. However, even though these are pretty stretchy material, they got too small. It may have to do with the fiber content. These do contain bamboo rayon, and I've heard from others that tends to shrink, so shrinking over the time, baby growing over time. Unfortunately, these 12 pairs are no longer fitting him. Since we're in Thailand, it's a little hard to get things from back home, but I remembered about these mother care training pants. I had used these with both of my other kids previously on our travels. They have some absorbency inside. There's a waterproof layer in just one section here. So if there's a pee, the waterproof layer prevents it from going down to the floor. However, this front part right here is just a thin layer of cotton. So that will show that they're wet. And this is not something that I use underneath clothing because of that, but just around the house. And these are pretty easy up and down. These ones are size 18 to 24 months. And I think they may be a little bit more generously cut, a bit bigger than they used to be when I used them on my other two. I bought eight pairs of these just to be kind of like a temporary stand-in until I could get something better. Overall, these are great as backup for EC. The one thing that I don't like is the absorbency is a mixture of cotton and polyester, and I would rather keep a polyester absorbency out of my natural diaper stash. I keep these in this basket downstairs, so they're easy to grab, easy to use, but it's not something that he uses for naps or nighttime. Right now, what we mostly use during the daytime are these by Bebe Boo. They call them transitional underpants. They're somewhere between a pocket cloth diaper and a waterproof training pant. I did a whole separate review on these, so if you're interested, I will link that below and you can watch that afterwards. These are similar to pocket cloth diapers. However, I like them a lot better than pocket cloth diapers because they have side tabs, elastic on the front and the back to allow you to pull these up and down. So they're great for those potty learning days or if you're practicing elimination communication like we are. And then also this inside is a combination of cotton and bamboo rayon so the baby will feel wet. Also you can check and feel if it's wet. Whereas most pocket diapers have some sort of polyester stay dry lining to prevent the baby from feeling wet. And then the great thing about these is you can stuff them with whatever you want. So I've been using our one size stretchy flat cloth diapers 
These ones are from Truly Carious. I also have some from Fruit of the Womb diapers and from Cooper Rose as well. So I'll leave some links to all these down below. But previously I was wrapping these around my baby and then using a wool cover over. However, he outgrew those covers and he outgrew the phase of laying still for diaper changes. I really prefer something that allows me to change him while he's sitting up on my lap, like pulling on the training pants, or if he's standing up and I can come snap them around him. We have eight pairs of these. I'm kind of test packing here, how I'll be able to pack everything up next time that we move. I was able to get six in here and then I still have three more pairs. I think I'll put some of them into this bag as well. Now, if you know me, I like everything nice in even numbers. So total, we have 12 pocket style diapers. Eight of them are those Baby Boo Grow, and then I have four other pocket diapers. I have two pocket diapers from Keikoa Nappies. I did a previous unboxing on these. I am really liking these. So in general, I'm not really a pocket diaper kind of person for a couple reasons. I don't like when they have a whole lot of snaps on them and that's the one and only thing that I dislike about these diapers is there's eight snaps, four per wing, which just gets to be too much if you're doing frequent diaper changes. However, I will say if I was going to do a pocket diaper stash, if I was a pocket diaper person, like say just changing the diaper every two hours on a schedule, I really like these Keikoa nappies. The brand is based in New Zealand. They are made in China. The name is Hawaiian. This is a recycled polyester and it's so smooth. It's like the fill of a satin. Some polyester diapers can be kind of rough. They can make noise when you're like changing the diaper. Not these, these are so smooth. They have these stretchy tabs, so I was hoping they would work as an up and down diaper, but when I do snap them loose enough that I could pull them up on my son, then they kind of start falling off his butt, so it's not working that way. These do have the athletic wicking jersey polyester inner, so if you're looking for a stay dry option, these are good. I originally thought I was going to use these with flax inside, but I actually like them best with their inserts that they come with. These are a cotton bamboo rayon blend. They're really absorbent. The one drawback with these is they do take a long time to line dry. And since I'm mostly line drying on our travels, sometimes these will take a couple days to dry. Um, the shell itself dries really quickly though, since it is just polyester. And it's super nice that the whole pocket is lined with that athletic wicking jersey, both the lining and here. So they're really easy to stuff. So if you're a pocket diaper type of person, I do recommend checking these out. These are from their premium line. Those are the ones made with recycled polyester. They also have a core line as well. We have one Kale Memo Hawaii pocket diaper supporting another mom who did EC with her baby. And she's also bringing more awareness to Hawaiian culture and language through the prints on her diapers. And her explanations on social media, she teaches you a little bit of the Hawaiian language and the cultural significance of the different flowers. It's really nice to follow them along on Instagram. So I ordered mine just as they call it swim diaper. So it didn't come with the insert. I kind of wish I had got the insert as well. I'm working on a project making my own do-it-yourself flat cloth diapers, but I have not finished cutting them all yet. Working on a video on that for you as well. I have tried using it as a swim diaper, but I personally don't really like waterproof swim diapers because then it just fills up with water and then you take it off and the waterfall of water comes out of the baby. I prefer swim diapers that are not waterproof. So I'll be using this one a bit more once I have a flat cloth diaper to stuff it with. This is from Just Peachy. They sent this to me for joining their affiliate program. Thank you so much. I got this one because I'm experimenting with different pull-on, pull-off style cloth diapers. So this one is stretchy on the front. It has stretchy side tabs, stretchy on the back. I've found for my son, if I want to be able to pull up and down, then I need to snap it all the way on the loosest side tabs here. Inside, I think this is what you would call micro fleece polyester lining. And then it has the pocket opening here. It is really soft and it came with two inserts. I'm still sort of prepping them. I've only washed them a few times so far, but the smaller newborn one, which I think is bamboo viscose cotton and the bigger one has hemp in it. This is a much wider cut than these inserts from the Keikoa ones. I just very recently got this Jispeachy one, so I'm still trying it out. I really like this ocean print. 
So that's what we're using right now during the daytime. We have mother care trainers, we have baby boo trainers, we have a few pocket diapers thrown in. But my favorite part is our nighttime cloth diaper stash. On this trip near the beginning, I was using a lot of disposable diapers at night because we didn't have anything that was easy enough to change and then also absorbent enough because if he does pee at night, it's quite a lot. And so I wanted to get back into nighttime cloth diapering. I figured if I treated myself to some really nice nighttime cloth diapers, that it would get me back to using them at night. This is a size large fixed flap by the Blythe Life. I actually have four of these, but two are on the line right now. So I have two to show you. On here, what I have is one of the new adjustable diaper belts by Comfy Baby. So if I do use these during the daytime, I like to use them without a cover, just with the diaper belt holding it on. So the diaper belt sits at the waist the flat comes up higher. And I do use these at nighttime, so I use them with covers that have a really high rise. I have two nighttime wool diaper covers. I have a pair of size medium, Truly Curious Bubble Shorts. I love Truly Curious Bubbles. We actually had this color grackle in the mid-weight in the size extra small. Then we had a dark blue pair in the size small, and he can outgrow those. He was stretching them out too much. So I got these, these are size medium in the heavyweight wool. I like this version even better of the Grackle. It's like this nice deep teal. And since these are bigger size now, these come up high enough to go over this. Also, I got one of the size large Bumby Abrazo wool covers, and that pairs really nicely with the large fixed flats. Basically, when I was trying to figure out what to use for nighttime, it's so hard to find advice when it comes to the natural cloth diapering that I looked back at my old videos. And when we were still home before we were traveling, I was really enjoying using fixed flats with either the Bumby Abrazo or with bubble shorts. So I was like, I'll just go back to what worked before, get the same setup. This is in the color Nanus. It has dark blue, dark green teals. I really love how these all match. <laughs> you can kind of see one of my favorite colors here is teal. So for nighttime, I wanted something super absorbent. These particular fixed flats, this color, it's like a dark heathered blue. These are called Lover's Lake. And what's special about these is the blend of the fabric. I think it's 86% bamboo viscose, 9% merino wool, and 5% spandex. And what's so great about that is wool is actually super absorbent. So yes, you can use wool as your water resistant diaper cover on the outside, but you can also use wool for absorbency. And when it's blended into the fabric like this, you don't have to do some separate care. I just wash these in the washing machine with other diapers, but I do not use any chlorine bleach. I do not use enzymes on them. So to open it up. What I have on top here is one of the organic cotton liners. These organic cotton velour liners by the Blythe Life do have a little bit of polyester in them. I wish I had had time to make some of my own before we left on our trip. I would have just used my natural undyed completely under organic cotton ones but she likes to make them in lots of pretty colors. So this during the day could be good for catching poop. At night it could give a bit of a stay dry feel. This is how it looks. I've been kind of folding in thirds to here and thirds to here to make it narrow enough for my son so it's not super bulky. So she also sells wool liners and that's meant to go on top to be stay dry as well. But I found I don't really like it right against baby's skin. I think the pee kind of pulls and runs off it instead of absorbing super quickly. So instead I've been putting either a wool booster or a wool liner underneath this absorbent half flat portion and then what it does is it makes that this part of the diaper get super saturated and then if it gets saturated enough then the pee will go to the wool and then to this outer part. So it just makes it really keep the moisture in there a lot. And then I just wash the boosters or this liner in the machine on warm. I might take them out before the hot cycle. I definitely don't put these in the dryer but you know I've felted it and shrunk it a bit but that's okay because I'm not using this really as the stay dry liner like this one. I'm using this kind of as more additional absorbency. And if you want to use wool as additional absorbency, then no need to put any lanolin on it because you want it to absorb instead of repel. Now this is a heavy wetter fixed flat, which means this half flat portion here is two layers thick. So they're size large, they're heavy wetter, and they have that wool content in there. So a very absorbent nighttime diaper. 
I personally do still change the diaper at night if he's wet because he lets me know about it. He starts fussing and rolling around. And because we practice EC, I like to change the diaper even at night if it's wet. We have not been doing a whole lot of nighttime EC and offering the potty at night. What I do instead is if he has a wet diaper, I change it. And then when it gets to be those early morning hours, if it's around 5 a.m., and he's rolling back and forth a lot, maybe kind of groaning, then I will take him to the bathroom and offer the potty, and then we usually go back to bed for another couple hours. So we've been just focusing on catching the early morning one, but not really offering all throughout the night, and that's why we still need some good absorbent nighttime diapers. Oh, and I almost forgot, I've got one more thing in here. I have our fitted diaper by Spunky Rumps. This is in the tot size. It also works great with the Bumbi Abrazo or the wool bubble shorts. I bought one more of these, but haven't actually got my hands on it. This has a nice stretchy outer, so it's similar to using a stretchy flat diaper. And then it has a pocket, and inside the pocket is this cotton hemp trifold. And this thing is super absorbent. It really locks the moisture into the inside of the diaper. But then say if you were to get a poop or something, this fabric is super easy to spray off. So it's kind of a great mix between the fabrics that would often be used say, in stretchy flats, but in fitted diaper form. And this does require some closure. During the day, we'll wear it just with diaper belt. At night, I would use a snappy. So, love Spunky Rumps. She also offers the BE flats, contours that have a pocket like that, and some really beautiful double-sided flats as well. One other option I'm planning to try for nighttime is Nikki's Knickers Wool Blend Stretchy Flats. Just nice square white diaper. I ordered one of those but I haven't gotten it quite yet. Thanks so much for watching and following us along as our cloth diapering journey evolves. Feel free to share in the comments below how your cloth diaper stash has changed over time. I know as a newborn I was using mostly pre-folds, flats, and fitteds. Then I ventured into the pre-flats a bit and now I've really been into stretchy flats and fixed flat cloth diapers. As my baby grows, we'll be going even more towards training pants. So it changes over time, preferences change, we get to try new things, which is fun and exciting. So you don't have to start out with just one style and keep that all the way, but if you do, that's great too. Please subscribe for more on natural cloth diapering and elimination communication, and to see what it's like to cloth diaper while traveling the world.